Welcome to another episode of a Saint Vincent Untold Stories. On this episode, we feature a Mitch Israel. It is alleged that this man ran up inside a schoolyard, took out him popo and do some blood tie, and sent his baby mother to Dovecat. Now you are talking about giving St. Vincent bad name. These are the kind of individuals that give the country the biggest bad name. Big ups are to all of my subscribers. And if you are new to the channel, hit the like button, the subscribe button, and hit the bell icon if you wish uh, to see more videos like uh, these. It have some men in St. Vincent. They went to the best schools, the best uh, churches. But you know what uh, their problem always is? Uh, they love to put uh, their hand on women. Uh, you see, uh, Mitch Israel was married uh, to a Cuban nurse. And uh, the reason why uh, that a nurse came to St. Vincent, it is because the bigger heads at uh, the top said uh, that we had a shortage of uh, local nurses. But I myself have to question that. How can we have a shortage of nurses uh, when uh, the chief main jobs in St. Vincent are nursing? teaching and uh, police officers you see every time something happened them try pretty up the thing it better it come out plain and say man look here we owe cuba and we need to pay them back so we're bringing some nurses and some doctor with the experience it is alleged that ariana did her span she did her time and she went back but the big man decided to say no sir the people them are call back for ariana we need to have her back in saint vincent uh, you see, a persons were going to the hospital and they were requesting a nurse Ariana. So the big man decided to say, you know what, we want back Ariana. So me I go write a letter to Fidel Castro and Fidel and my friend, so he may go send her back. Uh, but you see, she made one of the biggest uh, mistakes that a lot of people make. A lot of people make the mistake and tell themselves, say, you know what. Me not opposed to this, so me I go live with them and everything would be smooth and nice. But old people always say, knowing someone and living with them is two totally different things. Uh, so the couple got uh, together and they had uh, two sons. It is alleged uh, that they were married for over a decade. You see, during uh, that uh, time, I'd be a boo-doo-doo, boo-doo-doo, boo-doo-doo. Every time the woman talk, boo-doo-doo, boo-doo-doo, boo-doo-doo. She ran go a station and make a report. Police not do nothing to it. Every time the woman go, there's some kind of excuse. Every time they go talk to the man, talk to man. When the man has high ranks in a society, you can talk to man. When the man could tell you one phone call, and he can call the bigger heads and get everything resolved. Uh, this reminds me of a time when man been a primary school and thing. When them used to give you the little red, the yellow, and the green cup with milk tea inside a man in time. They man make sure that every youth had a breakfast. So them give you a nice cup of milk tea with some yellow biscuit. And them start to ask your tables. So every time you get one wrong, it's like them a beat back the tea out of you. So one time you get a youth named Elton now. And every time them ask the man tables, the man a get all the answer wrong. The human say four times five, Elton say thirteen. The human say look, thirteen. A thirteen lashes. Just imagine you got one answer wrong and I get thirteen lashes for one answer. Every time Elton go down so, he say wee, swat I, wee, swat I, wee, swat I. Well, to how me did fade the licks on them. All in my sleep, I memorize tableaus. If you hear me in my sleep, two times three, two times four, two times five. Boy, me did fade lashes. That and time again, me and I used to run away at 12 o'clock time. And we used to go pick up people, plum rose and thing. Boy, one time the teacher see we absent. The man call we up at the front desk. When the man come down with the first chop and do so, what I? Me feel like me whole hand me go bust out. From that, me never go back to pick people, plum rose again. Uh, so it leaves me to wonder if Mitch and them never go through them kind of thing their primary school. Uh, do you remember some time back? I did an episode with a youth called Gerani. Uh, you see, uh, Gerani was a youth that went uh, to the top school in St. Vincent. But what had happened? He got hooked on substance and he had a nervous uh, breakdown. And he went around into some people's home and the man mashed out some of them face and head back. Two of those individuals uh, that he sent uh, to Dovecat was the brother and mother of Mitch Israel. So if Mitch Israel has so much a heart for running our school and send your baby mother to Dovecat, how come you not go for Gerani? As uh, so a prior to what Mitch did at the school, right? 
They said uh, that him and Ariana had uh, several altercations, and the woman reported the matters to the station. But the man named Nagu, it is alleged that uh, the officers had warned Mitch. But I'm um, so Mitch said so could make one phone call and make the boy them go walk down a back way and walk a beat and patrol for the rest of their lives. And it has happened in the past because we know officers who complained and I said they were moved because someone said something about them. Uh, there is a saying that uh, says, no matter the school uh, that you went uh, to, once you are willing to learn, you would learn. Uh, just imagine this uh, boy uh, Mitch went uh, to one of the best schools in St. Vincent. And uh, just look at what he did. The same school that he went to, his boys were going to that school. And the man went on the premises, run up with him popo and dust out the baby mother. Uh, pant up the compound. You think it's just one or two people who cried out? Even the big man cried out. It have some individuals that would often say that when the big man needs a loan from another country, or uh, when he wants help or assistance, he would normally put on these fake cries. But I am telling you uh, that cry on that uh, they wasn't fake at all. Uh, so now uh, Mr. Mitch is uh, sitting down in prison eating taxpayers' money when he should be in a cell with uh, Jerani. I should be in a cell with Chevalamkin. Uh, viewers and subscribers, have you ever met a Cuban nurse or a Cuban doctor? They are so humble. They don't even speak uh, much. Uh, just recently one passed away in an accident overseas. And it rocked the entire nation. So just imagine how the nation felt when this guy rest his hands on Ariana. How is it that when you go to the primary school and you get your tables wrong, you get uh, lashes? Uh, so how come uh, this man walk up inside a schoolyard, rest him pow pow upon him wife and sent her to Dovecat? And he would be only given a sentence and they inside the prison eating off taxpayers' money. The boy just sat up on the bed, I just a eat drum nuts and peanut and thing and just a relax. Uh, so him done the way him a fi do. Now him have a daily routine. Eat, a sleep and poop until him time. <laughs> Crack and fat pan them so the man a relax. It had a time some little boys in my area did put on something and make some trouble. And the magistrate say must sent them uh, to the Liberty Lodge, a boys a training center. For those people living abroad, the Liberty Lodge is a place where they keep a trouble with their children. So the man them send the boy them, but you see before the boy them go, the magistrate said uh, that uh, they would get six cat each. You know, and cat be remember me explained that in the last episode, that when the man did go a loose and them give him some cat and thing, the thing would strip them, pan it, and them do some plus side, and make the man never want to ride back on boat again. I saw them used to deal with the youth them back in a them time. So you want to tell me a big hard back man. Just guy in a jail go do sentence and relax. For a thing like that. And them never now say, look ya, six boots will stick every morning. Uh, so as the boy wake up, Clad get up boy, remember we do. Clad he had one time a rude boy that beat off a man's sister. And the rude boy tell himself, yeah, him get you, he get you. But the woman go tell she brother them, uh, my body, a donkey and them beat that day with her. Them pung up your donkey and find a lash uh, that with donkey and thing in a club bush. Uh, you see when that got the first lash, him not waiting. I uh, straight in a sea water the boy head for. Uh, let me tell you how some Caribbean people use and thing called donkey. Donkey is some kind of tree. Uh, once it is punged up, it becomes very toxic. Let me tell you how some woman in my village did stay one time. Everybody always a come a river man in time I give you spot and spot. Uh, so in a them time they them used to set up something called a stone heap. Where they pile some stones together and you'd wash on the best set of stones. But you have some woman did always a take up a like stone and them. One man and a woman decide to say no sir. Uh, so the woman go far up in the river, pull some donkey and pong them and squeeze the juice in the water. You see the woman them build a scratchings whole day. Scratching. I saw the woman them did a sail. A Caribbean people, a thought of the truth. You have gone to the river several times before to do some washing. And now some people are on up the river like a damn river. They have some small fish in the Caribbean that we call chichi. And uh, they are a Caribbean delicacy once fried with flour. And uh, normally when you go to the chichi river, 
It have some people who have some saran. Big like cotton. May I tell you one, take up the whole river. So if you take up the whole river where somebody else going to catch the chichi. Uh, plus, it have some men still eating mullets. Them say mullet I eat shite. But I don't know about that. There are a time when St. Vincent only had one prison where they housed the male inmates, which is called the Her Majesty's Prisons. But you see they built another prison. So if a long time ago when Mitch did go to jail, him did have for meet up and bad boy like dumpling and pepper them. And them boy they couldn't come in a jail pan them charged. Them man did have that a wash clothes long time. Ran told stories one to say condolences to the family of Ariana Israel. Remember to tell a friend to subscribe to Untold Story. Mm -hmm.